There is some diggers, some cleaning diggers. If I zoom in, you'll probably be able to see. There's the cleaning digger. And there's the... Looks like some type of digger that I really don't know. That is cool. Can I get... There's a really cool digger that loads cement. Not right there. Right there. It puts men on. I finished shopping and the totals were I paid $17.31 and saved $12.39. Part of that was not on sale because they were actually necessities for John's birthday tonight, like ice cream and powdered sugar for his birthday cake. But that's after two weeks of not shopping. That's all I've got to spend right now. Noah's sick today, so I'm staying home from work, and I'm going to work with the kiddos. We had way too many games on our storage area on the third floor, so I am. I took them all down into the living room, and we are sorting through them, pulling out what we don't need. And there are a lot of things we don't need here. Too much junk. We're sorting through all our Lego books that have been destroyed. If they're destroyed, they're going in the recycle pile right there. If they're not destroyed, we're keeping them. And as you can see, a lot more have been destroyed than that haven't. That's pretty bad. Peter's making some coffee for Mommy. Uh, supposedly the caffeine is supposed to help the headache. And because of all the junk we have laying around, we had to set up the playpen for Mary. That's okay, she likes the playpen. She's eager to get in. Uh, she just, let's see what she, she wants a toy to bring with her. Let's see what she chooses. What, what is it? Pillow? Oh, where is your pillow? Oh, there it is, right there. Is that the one you wrung a uh, uh, drool out of once? Yes. Uh, was this mine? I don't know who that was. Janelle is going through the stuffed animals. Reminiscing about oh, stuff. Like this one, Mommy. I like this. Who's this? This must have been Charity's. Emma! Charity never liked dolls. It talks. Yeah, great. <laughs> don't we have enough crying babies already? <laughs> Who gave this? This has a memory to it. It used to sit on my <laughs> shelf at the other house. Well, well we forgot the memory. <laughs> I think the lobster was mine. I think it was mine. Can you eat it now? Yeah. Let's see. Charity's yeah, cake is ready. Oh, look at the cute little dinosaur. Was that mine? I want to see that's Peter's. So, Daddy's question what are we getting rid of? Maybe he takes stuffed animals at the green bin. Daddy, can we not get rid of these? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, but, can we not get rid of these things? Can we please get rid of the doll? Please, Trini. But Lydia likes the doll. Oh, no. Oh, we're missing the number one. Okay, we can get rid of Mr. White Moose. Okay. Mom, can we not get rid so of get these things? So we're getting rid of one thing, Mr. White Reindeer. <laughs> Maybe after the batteries run out. Because I like the bib. You like the bib? That's the reason we keep the dolls for the bib. <laughs> She's laughing. Three of Mary's favorite things right there. Mommy, Blanky, and two fingers. Mary's helping me make peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. 
Okay, can you have another piece? That one's a little small. Yeah. Mary, do you like peanut butter and jelly? We don't have this too often, but we're kind of uh, have an emergency today. Yeah. This is how Mary likes to eat her peanut butter and jelly. From the middle. Look how Lydia eats hers. She eats the crust first. I'm a digger driver. I should just put it in an airtight, tight Ziploc bag, bag and I'm going to run it over. <laughs> what would that do? Make it squish. There's Charity put on the blue floss then. John requested blue frosting for the cake. My kids have been enjoying the blue frosting. And Peter helped to make it. Actually, no. No, he didn't help to make it, but he's helping to eat it. <laughs> we're on our way to my parents' house where we're going to pick up John because he spent the night for his birthday. His birthday was on Tuesday, but it didn't really work well with our schedule to have his birthday party then. So he spent the night last night to, at Grandma's house, and we're bringing the cake up and having the party at my parents' house with John. And Art is getting his daddy-style gift at the library at the moment. You want to tell our viewers what John's present is? A pass to the Empire State Aeroscience Museum. It's at the Schenectady Airport. It's what, maybe six miles away from us. And um, John should love it. Yay! So I think we all get to go for the pass. That's a perfect daddy style gift. On one, Charity on one. is wrapping the daddy style gift. And, and the instructions say. It's hard to wrap a daddy style gift with um, a cake on your lap and making sure the cake doesn't go anywhere. In a moving car, right? <laughs> yes. Hey, daddy Wait, loves challenges. For the past couple days, I've been struggling with some dizziness, some eye changes, stuff, and things like that. And I contacted my midwife and I said, hey, is this horm hormones? What is this? And she's thinking it's a couple, could be related to a couple different things. One is low blood sugar from not eating enough. I don't think that's an issue, but hey, who knows? The others could be definitely hormones causing a silent migraine because I really don't have pain. It's just this dizziness sensation and as I was thinking about it a little bit more I remembered that back a year ago and I don't even know if I videoed this I might not have even been vlogging at this point but about a year ago I had just gotten off some prednisone and I had had this horrible migraine with an um, aura and I have never I never had had one before then and after the migraine and the pain subsided I still was left with this dizzy funky feeling in my head for several days almost the same exact feeling I have right now so I'm wondering if I had a silent migraine and I'm suffering from the after effects of that I really don't know but definitely been feeling a little bit under the weather today art had to stay home and help watch the kids I just cannot keep up with Mary who's like all over the place right now but Charity made the cake for John's birthday because I was in no condition to make the cake and she did an outstanding job. Hi John, did you miss me? I'm a little bit. Charity is putting the Lego man on the Lego cake. There's Grace and her cousin looking at each other. They're only about a month apart. 11 candles to light. More and more. I know. Who's the first one that's gonna cry? Oh. Yay! Yay! How's Charity's cake? On a one to ten scale, it's eight. That's pretty good. Can't beat an eight. And it's, a, and it's, a first, and it's her first time oh, no. making a cake oh, by herself. Did you get a of this? Uh oh, it's not looking good over here. Don't let her knee over Right. Your first right. Cake you ever made? Don't get her too close to me either. She's officially six months old and she's trying. A happy year. <laughs> she's halfway to her birthday cake. Yes, yes. I don't know if I want to get next to Cherry. That good? Our oh, new track. That's spat. Say more. When's the <laughs> Mark, please. John's opening up his daddy style gift. I wonder what it is. It says pass. This is from the library. <laughs> You did it, got it from the lot. How did you sneak it? Very nice. I just went and checked it out. But how did I not 
not know this yet. Because I did it today when you're gone. Oh. Now open up my purple and green squeeze for Peter's. Okay, yes. Oh, you're going to love Peter's gift. I think I know what it is. What is it? Socks. No. <laughs> That's the one that we literally wrung drool out of once. Oh, gross. What does that mean? We took it and we squeezed it and it dripped drool. Okay, wait a second. <laughs> we purged and we whittled down our games and this is what we're left with. Now, it may look like a lot, but remember we have six kids and different ages and they all like different things. So we tried to keep it down to the bare minimum and this is far less than we had at the beginning of the day. We had so much stuff before that we couldn't even find it or enjoy it. Here are most of our games and puzzles and stuff. We put them on the eBay shelf. Once we sell off some of our eBay stuff, we'll be able to put the rest of the games in there neatly and so that we can get at all of them. Uh, it's a lot better than it was. Still needs some improvement.